So Shopify has this new feature to store the cost per item for pricing and I'll show you how to update it using Excelify for your products. Uh, there are a couple of ways to do it and I'll show two of them. So first of all, uh, typically your products come from some kind of vendor and uh, if you have a file from the vendor with the like here for example with the SKU and the cost of your product you can do it simply like that rename the SKU column to variant variant SKU and the cost to variant cost cost and that's it save the file and import it with with the Excelify app and now uh, Let's check meanwhile if, if we will have this SKU in our file. Uh, so this product SKU is 104. So here it is. And if we refresh now, it should be already updated. Yep, here it is. So the Excelify updated just, just this one column by the SKU. And uh, when the import finishes, you can download the import results file as usual and in that file you will see exactly uh, now here are the same SKUs but since Shopify can have several uh, like several products having the same SKU so here you will have all the product ID handle and variant ID for all the products where the SKU was updated as you will see the input result and comment what happened to it so even if uh, your products, several products have the same SKU, you can still run this import and just you will see all the updates across your, all your products. This was one method. The other method is that, uh, let's say you already have those uh, products in your store, but there is no file by SKU from your vendor. So in that case, you can just do the export of products with inventory variants and variant SKU just so you have that column there. And let's do the export now. Oh, one uh, important aspect is that uh, you see here uh, we have a separate checkbox for the variant cost and uh, when you enable it, notice the, how the estimate changes. It's uh, basically because exporting takes uh, longer because it has to request for each variant what the cost is, so uh, use it only when you really need to export the cost. If you don't need, just don't check this checkbox. But for now we had it on, so the export is completed. And now, if we look at this file, of course we'll have there all the like, product basic information along with the variant columns. And so in this case, if, if we just want to update the cost and, uh, and nothing else, you can basically delete uh, the following columns, all, all these primary columns, including the variant inventory item ID, we don't need it, but keep the variant ID because uh, those two are used to identify the product and the variant ID will be used to identify the variant, then we don't need those other columns unless you you want to see what is what but essentially here for the next to the prices we have this variant cost uh, column with already the values which we imported earlier and so we can essentially just if you don't want to update those you can delete them like this from from the file, oops, just delete. Don't just don't just clear the values of the columns, but really delete the columns. Don't do like this because this means that you are setting this value to the empty one. But if you really delete the columns like this, then it means you are not changing anything about them. You are just changing these values. And now here, again, similarly as before, but we have all the 
ways how to identify the product the variant and now we specifically change the cost of of those uh, values and if we want to clear them out we can just delete those values and and then they will get removed from the Shopify okay now let's save the file as update cost import that that cost press import and let's see one sample okay this was what we changed Cessna citation longitude while the import is working we can just find that product okay and the cost is already set to 50 obviously it's already finished so yeah that's how you update the variant cost in case you have any questions uh, feel free, free to contact us our support will help you bye